become an evangelist, become a prophet to your neighbor. Share it, become a minister. Share it right now. Touch the like button. It doesn't take anything. Just a snap. Have a smash on the button. That's all. So we're going to pray, and I'm believing God for you and for something very big, very huge, very outstanding to happen in your life. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Just obey the instruction now as we begin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We bless you. I bless and lift your name. Oh, you blessed Savior. You are worthy of my praise. There is none like you. At the four corners of the earth, you are the sunshine. Holy, holy, beautiful you are. I bless and lift your name. Oh, you blessed Savior, you are worthy of my praise. There is none like you At the four corners of the earth You are the sunshine Holy, holy, beautiful you are Jesus you are Savior you are you are excellent in your ways mighty you are faithful you are holy holy beautiful you are Jesus you are savior you are Healer you are Excellent in your ways Mighty you are Faithful you are Holy, holy, beautiful you are I bless and lift your name Oh, you blessed Savior, you are worthy of my praise. There is none like you. At the four corners of the earth, you are the sunshine. Holy, holy, beautiful you are. Jesus, you are Savior, you are Healer, you are Excellent in your ways Mighty, you are Faithful, you are Holy, worthy Beautiful we bless your holy name. Abba Shagala Manda Labadas, Ngolo Braga Yalaga Daba Labadas, Sakomos, Uruba Yalaga. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Sing like never before, oh my soul. Worship is holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. My soul, worship is holy name. 
seemed like never before. Oh, my soul, the ship is holy. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name, and sing like never before. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name, let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel, glorify Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us magnify Emmanuel. We will magnify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us magnify Emmanuel. We will magnify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Worship you. Allah go. Allah go. Allah go. 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 O batiti laye Jesus lo lagbara 
Adodo Minuwa ye mi o Jesus lo la gbara oba titi Kimi ma fi san bore ya bi o ti pa to la ye mi Eberu wa ko to fu yin re O se o Kalibro Sadaba You are worthy of my praise. Oh, oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. you are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. you are worthy of my praise. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Eko palaka Ka indire tuwa wela Me tu makadi Eze Eko palaka Ka indire tuwa wela Me tu makadi Jesus name. Amen. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we worship. Amen. Amen. In John chapter 5, we are doing verse 3 today. In this, let's do verse 1 and verse 3. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. After this, there was a feast. After this prayer in your life, there shall be a feast. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be a feast. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be celebration. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be testimony. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be turnaround. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be lifting. Yeah. Yeah. Bible says, after this, there was a feast in your family. In all that you do, Amen. in your interest, Amen. after this, there shall be a feast. Amen. After this, there shall be a feast. Amen. After this, there shall be celebration. Amen. After this, there shall be a miracle. Amen. After this, there shall be a testimony. Amen. After this, there shall be an intervention. Amen. See, after this, there was a feast. In verse 3, talk about the pool of Bethesda. In verse 3, he said, In this lay a great multitude of impotent folks, of blind, of halt, of withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Of blind, of impotent folk, sorry. Of blind, of hot, of withered, waiting for the ministry of the water. Now, these are five categories of people with diverse challenges and it signifies ministry gifts that God sent people with specific ministry gifts to this category of people. To the impotent folk, he sent the apostles. The apostles are those who produce fruits. Impotent folk, he sent the apostles. To the blind, he sent the prophets. Prophets are those who are sent by God for with revelational powers, revelational giftings and capacity, insight and insight. For the halt, he sent the evangelist. The evangelists are those who move. Those who have been halt. He said, they invite those who move. And for the withered, he sent the teachers. The teachers help you. If you have dry in faith, they teach you the word of God to nourish you. And waiting for the movement of the water, he sent the pastors. Pastors are those that nourish you, that teach you patience. As you are waiting on the Lord, they show you love and show you concern. So that's for that. We're going to handle this today in several dimensions. The first, he said, 
the impotent folk. We're going to handle the impotent folk and the blind today. Those that need the ability of God manifested, released upon their life, unveiled, uncovered, demystified in their life. The first category are the impotent folks, those who are unfruitful. The plan and the purpose of God is for you to be fruitful. In Genesis 1 verse 22, Genesis 1 verse 28, it made it clearly that being fruitful is not an advice, it's a command. Genesis 8 verse 17, Genesis 9 verse 1, Genesis 9 verse 7, it's not an advice, it's a command. Genesis 17 verse 6, Genesis 28 verse 3, Genesis 35 verse 11, in Exodus 1 verse 7, it tells how the children of Israel were fruitful in the land. So God wants you to be fruitful. So now, fruitfulness is producing seed after your kind. Fruitfulness could be the fruit of the womb, can be the fruit of the, your body, can be fruit of your mind, can be your status, can be any kind of fruit, can be fruit of your labor. So God wants you to produce fruit. But God's desire for you to produce fruit is for you to produce fruit after your kind. What you bring forth should be after your kind. If the potentials and the capacity God has put inside of you, you bring anything less than that, you are not termed fruitful. He said, impotent folks. Impotent folks. Impotent folks. Impotent folks. In Matthew chapter 19, Jesus was speaking about some people who became eunuch. Verse 12. He was talking about that. You know what a New York eunuch is? One who cannot bring forth. And open our eyes, unveiled to see three ways people can become eunuch and become unfruitful. The first is there are those who are born from their mother's womb as eunuchs. Some people, their unfruitfulness has a connection to foundation. When I was talking about our mothers, I told us very well that um, a mother's foundation is very powerful, very silent in operation. You lived in a country before you came to whatever nation you are in or you were born into. You live in a world. The world you were living in was called your mother's womb. It was a world of its own. You were eating there. You were living there. You were growing there. You were forming there. Whatever happened to you in the world you were born into is on the platform of that world. In fact, they had to cut something. The cord had to be cut that connected you to that world. So you understand the part of that world. Some people say some people we are born so from their mother's womb, meaning their unfruitfulness is foundational. The reason they cannot be fruitful is because of their connection to their foundation. Their maternal foundation, paternal foundation from their mother's womb. He said there's some eunuch who will make eunuch of men. There are some people who are not fruitful because of a human hand. Somebody is involved in their unfruitfulness. Somebody is contending and making them unfruitful. Someone's hand is on them, chasing them, harassing them, being parasitic of them. By men. You see, and there are some that made themselves, you know, there are some people who are unfruitful by reason of what they do, their character, their lifestyle, their attitude to God, their laxity, their lethargy. They're like a classical approach to spiritual matters. You see. So, it's either they were born like that, or they were made like that of men who would let them rest, who kept harassing them. And until these men go into extinction, your manifestation cannot come to fruition. And don't forget what the Bible says in Isaiah 6 1 in the year Isaiah died. I saw the Lord. I also. I like the word I also. He said, I also. In other words, people have seen the Lord. People have experienced the Lord, but I saw also. Others have seen, I didn't see. Others have testimony, I didn't have a testimony. Others had to turn around, I didn't have a testimony, but I saw also. I also saw the Lord. You see. So, you must understand that God wants you fruitful, and that's why I'm going to pray to the Oh Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. Amen. Make me fruitful. Amen. Amen. You get a certain age in life, people expect so much from you. You have to be fruitful. If you have marriageable age and you're not married, it means the enemy is contending your fruitfulness. If you've been married and there's no baby, no fruit of the womb, the enemy is contending. You have been working and laboring and there's no evidence, the enemy is contending your fruitfulness. And that's the major reason we're going to lift up our voice. We're going to pray, oh Lord, you are able. 
make me fruitful. Amen. Amen. In all areas of life. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. Amen. In all areas of life. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. Amen. Amen. In all areas of life. Amen. Amen. You see, there's a thin line. And this is one thing that believers should be able to know. There's a thin line between waiting and delay. Waiting and delay. There's a very thin line between waiting and delay. If you are not careful, from waiting you will slide into delay. Whenever you get to that point where your challenge is becoming a reproach, that's no more waiting. That's become delay. When it becomes a byword, that's no more waiting. That's become delay. When the challenges start making you ashamed, that's no more waiting. That's delay. Anytime your challenge now becomes a statement of mockery against your God, that's no more waiting. That's delay. So when you are delayed, you are unfruitful. We're going to lift up our voice. We're going to call upon the Lord. We're going to say, oh Lord, I know you are able. Make me fruitful in all areas of life. Amen. Make me fruitful in all areas of life. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. Let the enemies hear your voice. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. God, you are able. God, you are able. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. In all areas of life. Lord, you are able. 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 Make me fruitful. In all areas of life. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. In all areas of life. Lord, you are able. 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 Make me fruitful. All areas of life. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. All areas of life. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Shut up, 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 shut up
He says, impotent folks of blind, of blind, of blind. Meaning the first category of people that whatever the trouble of the world about those who are impotent and those who are blind now. 
Being blind means your vision has been tempered with. There are people, what makes a man the sum total of a man is the vision he has for his life. Everything that comes your way, the dimension of favor, manifestations, provision, is the platform of vision. Everything God gives to you is for your vision. That's why it's called provision. Pro is in support of your vision. And in, in Proverbs 29, 18, say when there's no vision, the people perish. Why did Samson cry out? Why was Samson pained? Samson was not pained because of his hair. His major pain, in Judges chapter 16, verse 28, was because of his eyes. When the, it, the, the Philistines took him into captivity, they took out his two eyes. That broke Samson. Not his hair, because the hair will grow again. But the eyes cannot come back. The air will grow again, but his eyes could not be restored. That was why the Bible says in Judges 16, 28, And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember, I pray thee and straighten me. I pray thee. Only these ones. This was the only time Samson prayed. Not your Bible. This was the only time Samson prayed. Every gift, yeah, the Bible says, and the Spirit came mightily upon him. Anytime he's about to perform a major feat, the Spirit came mightily upon him. Spirit came. This was the only time Samson prayed. For my two eyes, restore. Every power fighting my vision, your plans, your purpose, your pursuit for life. Every power fighting my vision expire by fire. Amen. The dream of what you want to become. God's intent, God's blueprint on your footprint. God's intention, God's expectation. Divine predestination. You are going to take your voice and pray. Oh Lord, you are able. Every power fighting my vision expire. Amen. Amen. My father, my father, my father, my father. Oh Lord, you are able. Oh Lord, you are able. Every power fighting my vision. Every power fighting my vision. Expire. Every power fighting my vision. Expire. 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 Open your mouth and fire. Look at it, 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 look at it
connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare you fruitful. Amen. In every ramification of your life, be fruitful. Amen. In every area and angle of your life, be fruitful. Amen. I come against the power that makes men impotent. Amen. 